Hello everyone, it's Torres here with another Breath of the Wild mod. This mod is actually a weather synchronizer that was made by Melon Speedruns, which by the way is one of the creators of some of the Hat in Time mods that we've done on this channel. So the Breath of the Wild weather synchronizer will take whatever weather that's happening in your area right now and your time and apply it to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I'm actually going to use this weather modding tool to do some things that you normally can't do in the game. I'm going to make it snow in some places where it's not supposed to snow, as well as rain in some places where it does not rain. So the Breath of the Wild weather synchronizer looks like this. So what you want to do is insert the latitude and longitude of the area that you live in. However, if you do not know your coordinates, all you have to do is click on this link over here and you'll be greeted with this webpage, which will help you do just that. Now this tool was actually designed for Breath of the Wild to simulate whatever is happening in your area as far as time and weather. But I'm actually going to be looking for an area where it's raining right now. I'm going to insert that and we're going to see how that affects certain places in the game. But for now, I'm just going to show you how this works. So for example, we can just type out New York. Uh, we'll just go to New York City, so we'll type out New York, New York. And then you just click find. Then the next thing you want to do is copy the latitude over here. And apply it. Then copy the longitude. Then we just paste it over here. Okay, so before I synchronize it, I'm gonna get Breath of the Wild on the screen here so you can you can see the effect in real time. And as you can see, pretty pretty clear skies kind of cloudy-ish clear. So all you want to do is select Sync Simu with time and weather. And there you have it. And you can see right over here it tells you uh, what kind of weather you're having, which right now it just says clear. So yeah, I guess this is what the game thinks is clear weather. It kind of looks a little cloudy to me, but whatever. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. Just ish. Cloudy with a chance of clear. So what I'm gonna do now is um, this program actually takes the time from your computer. So I'm going to actually adjust the time. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm going to turn set time automatically off and I will manually change the time over here. So let's go ahead and make it nighttime. And select change. There you go. As you saw there, we changed the time. We now have the power to time travel. I guess that means we're the hero of time. And likewise, if I wanted to make it morning, just go over to like 5... Let's go to 545. Let's see what that looks like. AM. Change, and yeah. Sunrise. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go over to Death Mountain and we're gonna make it rain. Have you ever seen it rain in Death Mountain? Of course you haven't, because it doesn't rain in Death Mountain. <laughs> so if you said yes, you're probably lying or cheating, like we're about to do. Anyway, let's go to Death Mountain. Alright, here we are at Death Mountain, and it is indeed raining. So I actually synced up the weather sinker with Ireland weather because it's it's raining in Ireland right now, and so I'm able to make it rain here in Death Mountain where it never rains. So everything that's hot, everything that's on fire is just dying. The rain is killing everything that's on fire. The bats are dying, these chichis are dying, this guy's still alive, but... He's gonna die in a second. Come on, get out of there. Yep, <laughs> he's dead. Oh no, flaming bats. Whatever are we gonna do? Yep, water attacks are super effective on fire types. Remember that. Come on, little guy, we gotta get out of the rain. You can do it, come on. Come on, keep going, keep going, you got this. No, don't you give up now, don't you give up. He's gone. He actually died. 
He's dead. He's absolutely dead. He's not coming back. He's dead. All right, now we're about to get into the hot zone. You can actually hear Linkle steaming because she's hot because she just set fire and the rain instantly put it out. The game is trying to set me on fire, but it just can't. The hot spring still works. So another thing you'll notice is, uh... <laughs> yeah, these shadows are... They're, they're kind of spazzy. Uh, so the, the reason for this is actually because if you look up at the moon, you'll notice that the program that we're using is actually forcing the moon in place. It's actually forcing it to stay stationary and that causes the sun and moon to jitter back and forth. Oh, what about the fire talus? Over there. You can see the fight was activated and I'm not even near him. This is gonna be the easiest fight in the world. Oh, look at him try. He's trying so hard, it's so cute. There's absolutely nothing he can do. He's just gonna keep staggering himself. Hey buddy, don't burn yourself out. I am so sorry for that. Yeah, I I gotta say, that was probably the easiest stone talus I've ever fought. Let me see, can I actually step on these things? I can. I can climb on them too. I wonder how Death Mountain looks like in the snow. Hmm, I guess we'll find out soon during my Winter Wonderland playthrough. <laughs> Can I plug that in here? I, I'm just gonna plug that in here. Is that okay? Yep, I'm doing a Winter Wonderland playthrough, and after I'm done with Zora's Domain, I'm headed to Death Mountain. Gonna see what Death Mountain looks like when Hyrule is covered in ice-cold snow. I'll leave a time card right here, so if you're interested in more Breath of the Wild modding fun, then feel free to check that out. Okay, so now we're at Gerudo Desert, and yeah, it's actually snowing. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It's snowing in Gerudo Desert. I actually didn't change anything in the program. It still says it's raining. So what's actually going on here is whenever it rains in Breath of the Wild and you're in a really cold area, the game will actually tell it to snow because it's so cold that rain wouldn't make any sense. Also remember the desert does get cold at night, so that's why it's cold right now. And you'll see once we hit Gerudo Village, it's gonna start raining again. And that's because it's warmer in Gerudo Village, so it doesn't need to be snowing. Yep, just as I said, it is raining. Also pay absolutely no mind to what's on my head right now. I'm delivering something. Hello. Did you want this? I'll just set this right here. All right, perfect. Now you have something to cuddle with that night. Oh, don't worry about it. You can thank me later. Um, here, I'm just gonna use this house. It's completely safe. Just don't try this at home. We're gonna bypass the mod. That's right. Melon speedrun. It's me versus you. Me versus your mod. Who will win? And it looks like I win! Nope. Well, dang. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try is Hyrule Castle. So, I made it to Hyrule Castle, and yeah, it's raining in Hyrule Castle. And it looks so ominous right now. The scenery here with the rain, the castle and the rain. All we need is some lightning and this would be perfect. It would be really cool if this is how it was on the Switch, but I don't, I don't think the Switch can really handle this. So, yeah, whatever. How about we check out Ganon's second form? Let's do that. Ganon boss battle with rain. I honestly really love how this looks. I love the contrast with the night sky and the pinkish evil aura hue thing coming out of Ganon. I think it looks awesome and the rain completes it. So here's a part of the battle where it's still raining, but what the game was originally programmed to do is happening as well. So yeah, cool red skies and rain while fighting Ganon. Awesome. Okay. It's time to finish Ganon. Flickery skies! <laughs> it's trying to be nighttime. It's trying so hard. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Just a quick reminder, I am working on a Winter Wonderland playthrough. If you don't know, Winter Wonderland is a mod where all of Hyrule is covered in snow and it affects how you play because everything actually gets cold. You can check that out by clicking the top thumbnail here and also the bottom one is just a little something silly that I made if you want to check that out as well. Another quick reminder, I do have a Discord. You are more than welcome to join if you would like. And I also have a Twitter where you can also follow me. But anyway, thank you guys again. You guys have been awesome. It's been such a huge blessing making these videos, so I'm definitely excited to continue this journey with you guys. Anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.